Hi. I've had some problems with an EVGA X79 for the windboard. So here, today, I went back to Micro Center to get another CPU. Same exact CPU, 3820, but as you can see, it's factory sealed. So, this is the board. I already have my memory installed. I'm going to be using a Kingwin power supply over here for testing. And also, uh, I have another power supply in my actual tower. This is all for testing purposes. I contacted EVGA. Contacted EVGA on replacing the motherboard. They told me to check the CPU first. So I drove 100 miles out and back to Micro Center. Just got back. And we're going to test this out. I've been receiving the C code error with this motherboard. The C code usually shows up right here. And let's uh, get to it. I'm open the box. The i7 third generation socket 2011. Stock clock 3.5 or 3.6. Yeah, 3.6. That's the CPU right there. Pop this out. Cool book. Uh -huh. Some of that. Okay, the processor. Brand new. And for testing purposes, I'm not going to be putting no extra thermal compound. I'll also be using a GeForce GTX 465. This thing's also uh, flashed to be a 470, but this is insignificant and not the graphics card being the error. It works in many others, in every other system, I'm sorry. This heat sink right here, it has a little bit of thermal compound on it already. Using this just for testing purposes so it's not clamped down and can't say that I clamp down too hard. Anyways, we're going to get the CPU here. We have the arrow. And the arrow on the board is up here. So let's go ahead and clamp this. Do this side first. And this side. Push that down. Pull this up. Gently install it. All the socket in here is uh, pretty well designed. The whole board's well designed. Okay, right in there, just like that, just like that. Push that down, this one first, there we go, processor is installed, okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load this graphics card on here. Let's pop this heat sink, I'm just going to put it on there. I'm not going to keep it on long, I just want to see if I'm getting the C code error again. Different processor. Now this down here on the board, is not necessary to plug in, but I'm going to plug it in anyways just to result from any other issues. This is a 4 pin Molex for extra power to your graphics card. Whatever we're clocking. Here's the 4 pin, or I'm sorry, the 8 pin for your CPU power. As read in the manual, this is power one, and only need one to be plugged in to operate. This is the second one for overclocking. I'm only going to plug in one right now. Okay. And then, I'm going to plug in power to the graphics card. Just like so. By the way, this is an uh, 800 watt King One power supply. Okay. Everything is uh, pretty sturdy on here. Last thing is last. Plugging this in. 24 pin. Uh, these things. Hold it together real good. There we go. Okay, it's in there stable. Good, check. RAM's in there good. No issues. I'm on a cardboard box. There's no metal or anything like that under it. 
Um, next thing, I'm going to just unplug my monitor for power cable right here. Okay. Plug this in. And let's see what happens. As soon as I flip the switch, on. And it's a Seco there. Again, brand new, unpackaged processor, and a fucking Seco there. What is this shit? I've played with this board and I've turned switches off and reset the BIOS. Like, again, you can reset the BIOS, it's right here. Still, it just sits on a Seco. Why, I don't know. Brand new processor, I drove 100 miles for now. And that's going to conclude it. UJ, better uh, give me a nice RMA board. Thanks. I don't know how to stop it. Same way you started it? I pushed it and did anything.